Hello everybody with you Mohamed Bermawi. In this video I want to announce a new version from True Direction Illustrator which is version number 9. The new version carry uh, a lot of uh, great features. The most important of them is that it is much more faster than the previous one. So uh, to make you see how much fast it it I want to compare it with the previous one so we can we have here two uh, demo accounts uh, the first one we are going to test with it the previous uh, version version number eight uh, depending on system tester it is the one with the black background here we are going to test it with uh, euro dollar on one hour chart on every tech uh, from the first day of December 2019 the new version version number 9 is the one with the gray light gray uh, background here uh, it, we, we are going to make the same thing as it is still the euro dollar every tech uh, from the first of December and before we begin the test I want to add two lines a line here like that and a, li a line here like that so we can see where did we begin our test from so let's begin and let's see the difference as you can see the the new one had already drawn uh, <laughs> how many bars one two three four five six seven eight nine ten over ten bars while this one didn't draw one bar until now so there is a great difference in the speed between version number nine and version number eight so what is the benefit uh, for the user from this number one that you can test it quicker on a system test and you and if you use it through direction oscillator to build uh, an expert advisor it will be much more faster to test your expert depending on every tech uh, on every tech chart uh, number two you can add root direction oscillator to several charts on the same platform without affecting the CPU of your computer or without freezing your computer number three you can trade the news when the news come and there is a high value for tech uh, text coming inside your platform the new version will work much more better as you can see the the new version I will have to stop it now the the new version build over 20 bars while the old version didn't build in the system just over two bars on the chart we are here working on the one hour chart and not a daily chart or something so the new version is much more quicker than the old version, version number 8. Uh, let us take a look into other features found inside the, this uh, new version. We will have to stop our system tester. So I will uh, take it off like this. I will add a new chart. And I will add my indicator. I love also to see the window here. In the new uh, True Direction Oscillator version 9, I added a background to the panel so that when you will move your chart like this, it will not contradict with the panel. As you can see, it is cutted. You can see this, it is cutted. This was not in the previous one, in the previous uh, version. Uh, here it is. It was not cut. They enter together. You can see we can add both of them together so you can see the difference. Here they are. As you can see, everything here is chatted, but here it is much more better. It's much more better. Another thing which is something a lot of you have asked me before 
uh, I deleted the max candles to draw the indicator. The indicator now appear from the begin of the chart. I will click home to show you from the begin of chart until the end of the chart. It does not appear for a specific period or a specific number of candles on the chart. The previous uh, version, version number eight, I here have different names than yours because you download it from uh, MetaTrader, but I am having the source code here. So as you can see, the previous version was having a max candles and I will, it was 1000 bars by default. So the indicator is drawn. This is the old version. It is drawn until 1000 bars from the right to the left. And when we reach to 1000 bar, it is stopped drawing. But the new version draw until the end of the chart. Okay. So we have deleted the parameter of the max candle bars to draw. And this is much more better for you to backtest as an indicator uh, and go deep backtesting it as much as you can. Another thing that I changed the buffers of the indicator. Now the buffers is much more or less. The previous one was containing 10 buffers while the new one contain only six buffers. I have deleted unnecessarily buffers. We don't need four buffers, so I deleted them from the indicator. This will make the calculation, of course, much more faster. The new buffers are zero, which is the, let us, let me show them to you. Zero, which is the, the true direction oscillator itself. One for the positive smart shadow, and two for the another one for the negative smart shadow and one to show the arrows and another one for the arrows we we have four important uh, buffers and we have another two for the support hidden inside the code we don't use them they are for the support and the resistance okay so the number of buffers is now much more or less by 40 percent another thing is the channels. In the previous version, we was using channels without having the ability to, to change the, the background. Some of you have asked me to give them the ability to change the background. So I, if you change the draw channel as background to false, your channel would look like this. You can see this is the old version of channels on MQL5 uh, on the previous uh, version, since version number number uh, uh, seven and before we was using this, but the current version use this kind of a channel. So now you can return to the previous one or use the current one. I hope this video. Uh, had shown you some of the new feature we have added to True Direction Oscillator.